Have you ever wondered how in the world competitive eater Matt Stoney does it? Because while most mukbangers' bodies transform after eating probably just the same amount of food he does, <laughs> Nikocado Avocado. I came in this size. <laughs> How does Matt manage to stay this skinny? Oh, baby. <laughs> Three, two, one, and start. See, Matt's life of eating insane amounts of food started when he was young and broke. At just 17 years old, he entered a lobster roll eating contest where he won a thousand dollars. I ended up beating him by like half a lobster roll, and I just remember sitting there. I was working a summer job. I made more doing that contest than I did the summer job. Right then and there, Matt made his most life-changing decision. Wow. Right, I gotta just keep doing this, you know? This is uh, 10,000 calories of chili cheese fries. Matt trained so hard going to the gym five times a week, running for a couple of hours after each training session until he could manage to consume up to 20 pounds of food in a matter of minutes while staying as skinny as he is now. And that would pay off when he joined an international hot dog eating competition. One of the the biggest moments in his career. The 2015 Nathan's Famous 4th of July Champion of the World, Matthew Stone! And get this, Matt didn't just beat any ordinary contestant. He beat the man who was declared the champion for the past eight years, the world's number one competitive eater. Since then, Matt became more serious and dedicated to competitive eating, breaking one record after another for the past 10 years. The numbers get pretty high, um, and there's like uh, close to 21 pounds of pumpkin pie, 84 slices in eight minutes, 345, I think, of Japanese dumpling in 10 minutes. 25 Big Macs in under 22 minutes, 113 pancakes in 18 minutes, minutes, 71 pork ribs in 5 minutes, and more. And that means Matt has to continuously train more, even pushing the limits of his own body. I'm doing my cardio, I'm doing my weights. I'm no, I'm no Superman or anything, you know, it's, it's a pretty normal diet, especially around contest time, you know, I'm, I'm cutting back, I'm eating pretty minimal. He has to stay fit because lack of fat in his belly will free up space for all the food he has to eat. It's hard to stay in shape, you know, as a competitive eater, it's, it's crucial though. See, competitive eaters force themselves to eat tens of thousands of calories, literally stretching their stomachs. An average stomach can take up to one or two liters of food, but competitive eaters like Matt push themselves to take in up to four times more. To my right, I have my EMTs to make sure I don't die on my 21st birthday. Mm. Did you buy it to bone? Mm -hmm. So remember guys, do not try this at home because it's pretty risky. And we're better off leaving all the extreme eating to professionals like Matt. <laughs> But everything you've just heard about one of the world's top competitive eaters, Matt Stoney, I very much rate a wow fact. Oh, a lot of guacamole down here? 